Quote, when you think about it, what do you really want in a college? It should be a friendly place where you can get to know others and they can get to know you. A place where you can be yourself while growing into the person you want to be. It should be a school with a reputation for excellence. A school that provides a solid stepping stone to a graduate work or a career that equips you to deal with the complexities of life. It should have an atmosphere that emphasizes your total growth, mentally, physically, and spiritually. A college whose faculty brings the wisdom of God's word into each classroom, whose foundation is the claim that all of life belongs to Christ. It should make you feel at home while challenging you and pushing you and making you grow. A college, not a cocoon, a place where you have the freedom to prove that you are responsible. Are you ready for a college like that? Then stop. Take a close look at Calvin. Listen to what others say. Learn about its strong academic program. Enjoy the prospect of extracurricular activities. Grow while considering the challenges. Visit. Apply. At least do this much. Consider college. And as you do, consider Calvin. End quote. Calvin College utilizes a whole battery of print ads and pamphlets it uses in recruiting new students. Throughout these publications, Calvin keeps one goal in mind, to inform the prospective student what Calvin is all about, and in doing so, showing that Calvin is distinct from other schools. Peter Harkema, Admissions Development Director, is the man who coordinates all of Calvin's advertising efforts. Well, you know, I think what we're trying to, to convey to students is um, that we are a good school. I mean, that's sort of bottom line, but what we try to do is make uh, that concrete for them, try to uh, show in many, as many ways as possible um, how that happens, why we're good, and uh, what benefits they can expect to, to gain from being a student here. Um, so some of the things, what you really try to do in advertising is not only uh, try to demonstrate that you have a quality education, but you also have to um, have some distinctives, some way of sort of setting yourself apart from other options so that a student can say, well, if I come to Calvin, my experience might be different than this college because there are basically two ways Calvin works to achieve its goal in its publications. The first is listing certain facts about Calvin that are generally considered beneficial. The second is presenting those facts in such a way that certain themes become apparent. There are basically three types of evidence or facts that Calvin gives to show that it is a quality institution. The first type of information given is the standard statistics and facts that give a quick overview of Calvin in comparison to other schools. These include the size of the school, the student-faculty ratio, average ACT or SAT scores of freshmen, tuition costs, and departments and programs. The second type of evidence given is personal testimonies by Calvin students and graduates. These testimonies can be the main focus of an entire ad or just little snippets inserted in the larger pamphlets. Sherry Fiorino, a Calvin student, first learned about Calvin through one of its ads in Campus Life magazine. One of the main things that um, impressed me about Calvin was the advertisement in Campus Life magazine. As I flipped through the pages, Calvin's advertisement seemed to be more personal to me because it showed a picture of a student and gave a personal testimony of their living conditions and their academic atmosphere at Calvin. And I think I was able to relate to that on a more personal level than just some broad statistics from some research study about how this school was ranked number four out of ten best private colleges because in essence what is important to me is how I'm relating with the college and not so much how the statistics are relating with the college. 
The third type of information given is the independent reviews and rankings that Calvin has received from U.S. News and World Report and Edward B. Fisk's The Best Buys in College Education. What we're, we're not trying to say that we agree with the fact that they rated us 10th or something like that, but what we are trying to say is that there are a number of people and organizations out there that are saying, yes, Calvin is a good school. In regards to the reviews from U.S. News and World Report, it did um, impress me that Calvin was recognized on an academic level. Um, I wasn't, it was important to me to pick a college that had an academic reputation. All three types of facts, statistics, testimonials, and reviews, are presented in such a way that several themes can be noticed. These themes give the reader an impression of what Calvin is like beyond the cold facts. They help to show what it feels like to be at Calvin. Prospective students can get an idea of what to expect if they come here. The first major theme is personal growth. Calvin is a community in which a great emphasis is put on opportunity for students to grow and have fun doing it in all facets of life. Well, you know, I think that that you know, in our conversations with students and, and in some research that we've done, the college has done with students both in 1980 and then again in 1986, we asked students, well, to what extent did you grow personally and spiritually and academically? And students say that you know, they recognize the growth in themselves in those three areas. That, in fact, they feel like they are different people and that they've moved in a positive direction, that they've matured in those areas of their life. I mean, that might seem obvious, I guess you'd say, well, obviously that will happen, but not necessarily. And, and to a certain extent, I think the college was trying to document for itself uh, that the outcomes it hoped to achieve were, in fact, taking place. Um, but but I think when you you probably have experienced the same thing when you're sort of on campus and you look at all the opportunities you say boy there are a lot of opportunities to grow here you know just friendships and, and so forth so it is a theme that we um, repeat and I think it's a theme that that uh, represents the real experience of students. Calvin seems to be a never-ending opportunity of growth and adventure. There is so much to do and explore here, it's scarcely comprehensible. Quote, learning at Calvin means exploring ideas that prepare you for the future and challenge you to make the most of the present. It means peering into the wonders of creation through microscopes and telescopes to see the glory of the Creator. End quote. A major part of the growth theme is that it is fun. Going to school here is more fun than work. The ads are riddled with full, bright colored pictures of happy, healthy, clean cut young students. They're not necessarily pretty people, but they're all definitely happy. They have all kinds of sophisticated toys to play with, and they've been learning so many neat things. The view book even has funny little drawings in the margins to show the lighthearted attitude that prevails at Calvin. When I read through the different pamphlets and papers that Calvin sent to me, I realized that the atmosphere at Calvin College wasn't going to be all strictly uh, religious classes and going to church all the time and, and learning so much about God, but that there was another side to Calvin, and that included having fun and meeting people and strengthening friendships and and extracurricular activities. Well again that was fairly deliberate. I, you know you sort of play around with the images of the college you know year after year and um, I think you're exactly right. You, you do pick up on a theme that we hope students recognize when they pick up our brochures. To a certain extent I think we felt like there was a perception out there particularly with people who are somewhat familiar with Calvin that this is very good academically, um, but it's kind of a stodgy place, kind of staid, and not much fun. 
And we didn't feel like that was a fact. We thought, hey, students come here, they have fun. I mean, and that, that's what you look for when you select a college. It's a part of being a college student. And we ought to reflect that in our publications, that probably people understand us to be academically solid, but maybe we needed to uh, more graphically demonstrate for them that this is a fun place. People laugh and do goofy things and, and enjoy being here. So it was pretty deliberate on our part. The other major theme that runs throughout the publications is Christianity. While this may seem obvious for a Christian institution to do, it is still surprising to see Calvin saying outright, we are Christians, our life is centered on Christ, over and over again. For those who are actually involved with Calvin, Christianity is generally more assumed than mentioned. It is such a natural, everyday part of our life that we don't even notice it's there. Well, and that's very purposeful on our part, too. You know, there's a word in marketing jargon called positioning. And I think that we want to be very careful that we position ourselves as not just a really good liberal arts school, but that uh, when students look at us, they immediately see that, hey, there's, there's a characteristic here that I wasn't seeing at some of the other colleges who were sending me literature, and that is the Christian dimension. And so we try to articulate that uh, by talking about Christian faculty and fellowship groups in the residence halls and chapel and try to say, well, this is a Christian community. And so when you're looking at Calvin, you ought to consider that and you ought to be comfortable with that. Otherwise, Calvin maybe isn't a good choice for you. You know, ultimately, when you communicate with high school seniors, you try to communicate to them in such a way that they make a choice that's a good one for them so that you retain them for four years, that you don't just bring students in as freshmen and they go out the door as sophomores and transfer to other places. Uh, and so we try to characterize the college as closely to what it actually is as possible. So that's why you see it sort of repeated. Along with mentioning its Christianity, Calvin also mentions its policy of responsible freedom in its publications. Unlike many other Christian colleges, Calvin does not desire to be a babysitter nor a cocoon. It expects its students to be responsible young adults, and it gives them the freedom accordingly. Uh, particularly when we're advertising in Christian periodicals where there are many other Christian colleges there, what we try to convey is that uh, our approach to education is one in which we offer students freedom to grow and to ask questions and to develop without uh, without being in a really regimented environment. Uh, we use a cliche, I guess, responsible freedom, but we do try to articulate that for people who say, well, you would experience Calvin different differently than most other Christian colleges in that we'll probably, uh, our perspective about you as a student is, is a bit different at the outset. And we, we treat you as sort of an emerging adult and try to, to uh, get out of the way for your development and, and uh, guide you along the way and try to work toward your developing a, um, a world and life view of your own. In comparing my pros and cons list with other Christian universities, I found that a lot of them had more of a strict uh, requirements of its students. And I think that scared me because I was coming from public university and not from a very strong Christian family, and I was afraid that I wouldn't be accepted, first of all. And then if I was, it would be too much of a demanding uh, personal life for me on top of the educational side. Calvin seemed to, even through its advertisements, express a more non-restrictive learning atmosphere, that it was a genuine caring place to learn and to grow as a Christian at the same time. In summary then, in its printed advertising, 
Calvin pursues a goal of informing prospective students of what Calvin is like, and in so doing, it tries to distinguish itself from other schools. This goal is accomplished first by giving certain types of evidence, namely facts, testimonies, and outside reviews, and secondly, by presenting this evidence in such a way that Calvin appears to be a place full of fun opportunities to grow and a place where Christ is a center of life and students are free to be responsible.